Journal Entry 248 We were in the mountains and camped out in a shipwreck. It was fun watching Alex try to figure out how this got up here. He figures some kind of misfired greater teleportation effect. We marked our passing inside again, and just as we were about to start cooking, the Rhinecraft spy spymaster appeared and was immediately stabbed in the face by Jason, who was apparently ready for him. He vanishes again. It was so fast, Alex didn't even realize something had happened. So, how did Jason know he was coming? He just shrugged and smiled. What the fuck? After I managed to calm down and had dinner, we sat around the fire and saw who could make the most outlandish tale of how this regular ship managed to crash in the mountains, hundreds of miles away from any body of water large enough to hold it. Mike won with a tale of demons and devils gambling, sea elven tsunami cannons, and alien intervention. The guy's got an imagination. Damn. Journal Entry 249 Still in the mountains. It's too windy for an open fire, so we've got no warmth outside the camp blankets, and using our flashlights and tablets as lights and entertainment, and no way for cooking our food. The camp morale is low, and everyone is worn out from the climbing up and down, struggling to keep balance and dealing with the occasional wild animal. We had a big bear incident, one of the dire types. I managed to convince it not to attack, but every time I made it go away, it would come back an hour later. It was hungry and angry that something was in its territory. Very primal. Instincts. Very raw. Pure feeling. And dangerous. We finally had to put it down with spells and bullets, or we'd had to run the risk of an attack all throughout the night. Went over the map. We should be out of the mountains tomorrow, and be at Brightly in a few days after that. Possibly week depending. It'd sure be nice having beds again. <laughs>